What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today I'm finally going to be doing my juice cleanse video. It's actually my third time recording this. I've been struggling with this video. Every time I look at the footage I don't like how I look. So yeah this video was actually supposed to go up weeks ago but I was struggling. So we're gonna try again today and I'm just going to talk about how I lost 10 pounds in 10 days by doing a juice cleanse but mind you whenever I say juice cleanse I really mean like a smoothie cleanse because I was making smoothies not using a juicer or anything like that so before I get into my cleanse I want to talk about like why I did the cleanse and just a little bit of background about my body type and all that stuff so I have always been pretty slim um, high school through like I guess my junior year of undergrad I was always between like 120 and 130 and I could wear whatever I wanted I could wear form-fitting things crop tops whatever um, but after my junior year is when I started kind of getting weight and eventually I got up to 150 which isn't like a lot but for me it is a lot and I did not like it at all all of a sudden I could not wear crop tops and form-fitting things I had to really pay attention to what I was wearing and it really really bothered me and it made me very very self-conscious um, because it was definitely noticeable um, because for me, even though it was only, I guess, at a max, like 20, 25 pounds, some people's weight goes different places. But for me, my weight always goes to my stomach. Um, and so, again, it's very, very noticeable. And I absolutely hated it. I remember for my graduation, I was trying to figure out what to wear. And I ended up having to wear, like, shapewear underneath my outfit just so that I could look like flat as I could um, and I was mad uncomfortable <laughs> months after I graduated I was working full-time and eventually I started going to the grocery store like on my lunch break and actually buying juice and I would drink the juice for my lunch and then if I had any type of cravings or I got hungry um, before dinner I would just again drink a juice so I was always drinking probably about two to three juices a day uh, but I was still eating my breakfast my breakfast has always been just oatmeal and then I would still eat my dinner um, but I don't really know the exact time frame for that but I lost eight pounds again I don't know in what time span but I remember getting on the scale and be like oh I was down to like 142 ish and yeah the only thing about buying juices from like a grocery store or a juice bar or wherever um, is that it's pretty expensive um, for like a one-time thing like just buying one juice maybe not but if you really are doing like a cleanse or drinking you know three or four a day for however long that can definitely add up um, because a bottle of like actual cold pressed juice at a minimum is probably like four dollars and at a max like eight so again that can definitely add up so I don't really remember how long I did that for but eventually I stopped just because it's just a lot of money I was spending at least like 80 to 90 dollars for like one week of just juice which was kind of ridiculous so my weight after that you know fluctuated pretty much back to where it started off at uh, at around 150 and eventually towards the middle of November I was like I can't do this anymore um, because again I just hate how I look I look in the mirror and I've always been a pretty healthy eater um, 
I don't really know how I really gained the weight, but I did. And when I say healthy eater, I just mean I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. I don't eat fried foods. Um, I don't really eat pasta or pizza. I don't snack with like chips and cookies or anything like that. I only drink water. So I don't really know how I gained the weight, but I know I was going through things and I know I probably gained it from that. I was just probably emotionally aiding, but now, you know, after I went through that, I was kind of confused as to why I couldn't lose the weight because I was back eating like normal. Um, and yeah, I tried going to the gym as well um, the summer before I graduated. So the summer of 2017, I was in the gym about like four times a week. Um, but I have asthma and all of a sudden my asthma was just worse than it's ever been. Um, I thought that I had actually like outgrown my asthma, but somehow like it had gotten way worse and I couldn't do any type of cardio. I could not do the elliptical. I couldn't do running on the treadmill. I couldn't even just walk fast for a long period of time. I couldn't do the stair climber. I couldn't do anything. So I basically just resorted to being in the weight room and doing more weight training than cardio. So while the weight training helped in other areas, like it helps like my legs and my butt area, because that area has always been a struggle, uh, but it did not help my stomach at all because um, I couldn't really do any cardio just to kind of burn it off. So like me going to the gym helped in areas that I didn't really care for um and again it just didn't really help me in the area that i was struggling with the most so the gym wasn't helping me um you know my diet was fine so i didn't couldn't really see what i could do for that so when november came around and i really wanted to change how i was looking i just thought back to that juice cleanse that i did back in like may june so i wanted to do that again but i was not about to pay that much money just to buy juice so I decided to make my own smoothies and why I kind of call it a juice cleanse as well is because I made them as liquidy as I could to kind of get them to be more like a juice but they still weren't like a straight-up juice it was still a smoothie technically but um, they weren't as like thick I guess as a typical smoothie um, so now going into what I did to lose the weight. So a lot of people asked me what plan I was following um, during that time. And I was not following a plan whatsoever. I just kind of made it up as I went along. And eventually I actually did make an actual plan where it actually had recipes, grocery lists, um, different types of plans like a more strict one all the way down to more of a light plan um, and just whatever I thought would go into it um, I basically just did a lot of research on different ingredients to put into my smoothies or I would just google a recipe for weight loss and I would just make my own and it was pretty easy like I didn't really find a need to have a set plan um, I just kind of went with what I was feeling again as time went on I made my own plan and I kind of stuck to it um, and my plan really had like for what I was doing on the 10 day was more of the strict plan so I had a smoothie for breakfast lunch and dinner um, I didn't eat really any meals during that time also I did not count any calories or carbs or anything like that I feel like that takes the fun out of it so I didn't do it uh, honestly I just eyeballed everything that I did so now I'm gonna go into dealing with like cravings and wanting to snack so my plan that I made for myself involves snacking um, even on the more stricter side of it it has snacks in between every meal um, just because a smoothie, like three smoothies a day, that's not 
it started working for me so I ate snacks in between but my snacks were always healthy it was always a uh, fruit or I would make some veggies whatever I felt like eating but it had to be a fruit or a vegetable um, basically if it is something that can go into my smoothie then I could eat it um, as a snack um, another thing dealing with cravings is I have mentioned my teamy. This is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. But um, when I talked about my 30 day detox with teamy, um, I talked about the skinny tea, and that tea really helps you with cravings. So I still take that tea because I still have a ton left from my 30 day detox. So I would take that tea not every morning, probably like three times a week, maybe, um, just to kind of help with my cravings. Um, and then another thing that I was kind of craving was like dessert or just something sweet. Um, and so to help me out with that, I would just make some type of bowl. I would generally just make an acai bowl or a yogurt parfait type of thing. Um, if you don't know what an acai bowl, it's just a, a smoothie bowl basically in the base or the smoothie part of it is just an acai fruit smoothie. And then the toppings are just whatever you want to put on it. So I would typically put like fresh strawberries or blueberries, bananas, um, chia seeds, granola, almond butter, whatever. I would just kind of throw whatever on top. And I'll do the same thing for yogurt parfait except for the base was just plain Greek yogurt um, with like the same toppings. And honestly, it tastes so good. And it took the cravings away. Uh, and then if I was in the area, I would go to my favorite juice bar. Um, if you live in St. Louis, it's near um, Plaza Frontenac Mall. Um, it's called Juice Bar or I Love Juice Bar. Something like that. I know it's a franchise, so I know it's other places other than here. So I will, um, I guess, find that website and put it down below because I love that place. The only thing about buying stuff like I said in the very beginning is it's expensive so just kind of know that walking in now for grocery shopping so what I actually put into my smoothies or what I actually snack on so if you want to kind of look at what I've kind of made I have a highlight on my Instagram called juice and it has a few of my different smoothies that I have made basically going back to the plans that I made for myself so basically my breakfast smoothie was always something to kind of give me some energy my lunchtime smoothie was more protein based and then my dinner smoothie was more of like a green detox and I basically have at least five different recipes for each of those categories so that I can kind of try something different every day because um, that's definitely a tip is to find different ones because if you're kind of drinking the same thing every day that might get kind of boring and you might not want to finish so um, definitely test out different things because you can definitely make this very very fun back to grocery shopping you want to make sure that you have fresh fruit and frozen fruit so the frozen fruit is just for the smoothies. Um, if you have something frozen in your smoothie, then you don't have to add ice. Um, because if you don't have anything frozen and you don't add ice, you might not like it because it's not going to be cold. Um, so you want to have frozen fruit for sure. I have a ton of frozen fruit. Um, I have uh, frozen berries, just different berries in one. Um, I have, then I have like individual frozen blueberries, frozen strawberries, frozen blackberries, frozen raspberries. Um, I have frozen mango, pineapple, um, papaya, kiwi. I don't know. Honestly, if I see it, I generally just buy it. Um, and so that's pretty much what goes into my smoothies. And then for the fresh stuff, it's more so like the bananas. Um... Because I'll eat bananas both in my smoothie as well as as a snack. Um, what else? Grapefruit is something that I love to eat. So I will put that both in my smoothies as well as as a snack. Same thing for oranges and grapes. So whatever you like can't get frozen is when I get fresh. Because if you get a lot of fresh fruit, like especially fresh um, like berries, like strawberries especially, those things go bad in like an hour. 
like <laughs> unless you just really like eating fresh um strawberries as a snack i wouldn't recommend even getting fresh berries because they go bad pretty quickly um i don't really care to eat fresh berries i mean they're really really good but like i don't need them that much that i need to pay for fresh ones and then i have to eat all of it and within like two days honestly before it starts getting all nasty so again try to get as much of it as you can frozen and really just get your snacks um and then the things that you can get frozen get that fresh and the same thing goes for vegetables so vegetables both for my snacks as well as in the smoothies so like spinach and kale is what i put inside of my smoothies um so i get that fresh obviously um and then things like broccoli or green beans i'll get that frozen and i'll just eat that as a snack um other things you need are things like almond milk um as a liquid all my liquids are either almond milk or just plain water um and then also peanut butter and or almond butter i like both in my smoothies i put peanut butter but as like a snack because sometimes i'll eat like apples with almond butter um and then like some chia seeds it's really really good with like some granola um then i'll eat almond butter but the peanut butter is for my smoothies almond butter is for snacks and then i also um buy like seeds so flax seeds chia seeds things along those lines um, for both snacks, like they can go on top of your acai bowl, and um, then you can also put them in your smoothies. Um, I do all of my shopping at Trader Joe's and Aldi. I typically go to Aldi first and then um, go to Trader Joe's for whatever Aldi doesn't have or whatever stuff I prefer to get from Trader Joe's. Um, they're both very, very affordable. I want to show this picture here. Um, this grocery haul that I did and all that stuff that you see literally like $40 and everything that you see also is stuff that you don't even have to purchase every week that stuff a lot of the frozen stuff is like once a month honestly so this thing $40 maybe like $60 for the entire month versus you actually buying juice which would be like $100 for just a week so this cleanse is definitely 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 very very affordable so just my overall weight loss so like i said it definitely was 10 pounds in 10 days in five days i lost six pounds that fifth day was like thanksgiving um and i weighed myself the morning of thanksgiving and then the night after i was done eating and i didn't gain any weight from thanksgiving and i love thanksgiving food i still ate everything that i wanted on thanksgiving i had um macaroni and cheese i had turkey and dressing i had sweet potato pie uh, but i also had a ton of vegetables as well on my plate and just in general my plate was way way smaller than it has ever been probably for uh thanksgiving it wasn't even because i was trying to like not gain any weight it was really because i was five days in and i had seen all this progress and honestly i just didn't even want to eat all that much so i easily did not gain any weight on Thanksgiving, but I still ate everything that I wanted to. Um, and then in those next five days is when I lost the remaining um, four pounds, again, pretty easily. So overall, um, this whole process, I'm looking at my phone, sorry. Um, this entire process was just pretty much quick and easy weight loss. Obviously, definitely something I recommend if you want to lose weight quickly. Um, and also in a natural way um it also gave me a boost in energy for sure just because of what i was consuming um definitely had way less bloating uh, my stomach was pretty flat at the end of my 10 days and then also just kind of like what i said with thanksgiving after a couple of days it gets very very easy to do you will probably see results in a couple days um, either on the scale or just looking in the mirror you'll see results somewhere just because you're supplementing all of your um, meals for just fruit and vegetables so obviously you're going to lose weight pretty quickly um so for the future I still have weight to lose for sure um my 10 days was over like a month ago so I still have a ton of weight to lose because honestly after my 10 days 
I kind of actually after like maybe 15 20 days honestly is when my diet went to more of like a moderate thing and then a light thing and then now I'm not even doing a cleanse or anything like that I haven't had a smoothie in a little minute um, so I still have weight to lose to get down back down to where I want to be which is like 125 but I am starting back today actually with a 10 day cleanse to see if I can lose and get actually down into the 130s because I have not seen 130 on the scale in so long so I'm just trying to get back into the 130s right now um, and also try to get back into the gym hopefully um, one tip that I do have is making sure that you're keeping your um, refrigerator stocked uh, refrigerator and freezer stocked because if you really want to stick to this you want to make sure that you always have options um but sometimes you might not be feeling if you only have like frozen berries and like almond milk in your refrigerator and your freezer or whatever then you you might not want that, so then you might resort to eating something that you shouldn't. So you want to make sure that you always have a good amount of stuff in your refrigerator, just so you always have options, so then you don't like revert back. And then my other tip is making sure that you don't allow yourself to actually get hungry. Um, because once you get hungry and you make a smoothie, I promise you, you will probably want to eat more afterwards. So make sure that you were either like setting a time to eat or whatever you have to do to make sure that you're not like getting hungry or like starving because if I'm starving I'm gonna want more than a smoothie I'm probably gonna want a burger so I make sure I don't even get to that point because then I know I'm probably gonna come off of my diet so make sure that you are eating before you are drinking whatever um before you kind of get to that point where just a smoothie will like satisfy you so that is about it i think that i covered everything um again i don't really go into specifics of like what i put into my smoothie but really just check out my my highlight like i said on my instagram story it's really just trial and error like just do your research on different ingredients or just look up smoothies for weight loss or smoothies if you were like bananas weight loss smoothies with bananas or whatever i mean google will give you everything so literally just do your research on like what to actually put into them but really if you just supplement all of your meals for the smoothie for even just three days you will definitely see a difference that is it once again if you guys enjoyed this video got something from this video want to try this cleanse for yourself please do give this video a thumbs up and definitely share this video and if you're not subscribed make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified when i post and i will see you all in my next video bye guys